Now, in this lecture, we will take a look at array push function. We will understand how to use this array push function and where to use it. So, what does array push function do? The array push function insert one or more elements to the end of an array. So, if you want to insert an array element at the end of the array, you can use this array push function. Now, let me show you a way to insert array without the array push method. For example, let's say if I just create here an array, I'm going to just create empty array here. And if I want to insert any value inside this array, I'm going to just simply call array with a square bracket and then I'm going to pass value to it. And when I print this array, it's, it's going to return this value. You're going to have this value on the index zero. Now, what if you want to insert your second array element? You need to call array again and then pass the second element value. So when you try to execute this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. You're going to have your both element in the array. But to insert both these elements, you're using two statements. Now let me show you how you can add both these elements using array push function. So for example, let's say if I have here an array, an empty array, and I want to add two values inside this empty array. I'm going to simply create here array push function and specify array to it as a first parameter in which I want to insert values. And then I'm going to pass two parameters to this function. Now these are the values I want to insert in this array. So I'm going to specify that values as a parameter to this array push function. When I print this array using print statement, it's going to return the result something like this. I'm going to have both these values in this array. On the zero index, I have this first value. On the first index, I have the second value. Now this function is also useful to know how many values I'm inserting in this array. For example, here I'm inserting two values in this array. So this function is going to return two. So we can store it in the result variable and then if you want you can print that variable so you will understand how many elements are pushed or you can say how many elements are inserted in this array now when you execute this statement it's going to return two if you want you can specify n number of values to this parameter now let me show you one more example of key and value pair of array so for example let's say if i create here an array and specify key and pair value and so the key is one and value is first key now I want to insert value inside this array. So I'm going to call a simple array push function and inside it I'm going to first pass this array as a first parameter and then pass value. And just out of that when I try to print this array it's going to return two values. On the first key I have first key value on the second key I have the second key value. So the array will automatically specify the key to this value using this array push method. Now, I hope you understand how to use array push function in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.